thought I'd take a second and walk you through how to do C notes for English class. Now this applies to English 10 and English 12, regular or on-level courses only. AP, pre-AP, you guys do something a little bit different. All right, so first of all, um, what is the purpose of C notes in English class? Um, for us, I look at the test that you're gonna have to take per unit and then I go backwards and build your C notes requirements. That way you are taking notes over the things that are going to come up on your test. Um, the other thing if you are in 10th grade is that I know those things that are super important for the STAR test. And so if that comes up in a lesson, then that's something you'll have to take notes on as well. Okay, so there's a purpose for these, a method to my madness, if you will. All right, so um, you will have a template and this is always linked in the first lesson of every unit, and then it comes up again whenever there is a specific lesson that has something you need to take notes on. For English class, you are taking C notes over the content in Connexus, not over live lesson material. The reason there is I rarely do much lecturing. Um, we do a lot of practice and discussion in live lesson, so it's hard to take notes over that. Um, so instead, you're doing it over material in Connexus. This helps you to focus on what is most important to learn in Connexus because there's a lot in there. Um, so in teacher modifications, lesson modifications, you'll find a link always in the first lesson of every unit to a template. You're going to open that template and then you're going to click file, as you see over here, and then make a copy. Um, you can then choose to move that into your English 2 C notes folder that you created at the beginning of the year. Um, and then you can edit the copy that you made. Um, otherwise, it's just going to tell you you don't have the rights to edit. Okay, so you have to do file, make a copy. Also, um, in the notes section, you'll see the purple right hand side. I will list topics that you are to take notes over. So this is an example of last year's English 10 C notes. Um, you have to define archetypes, and then it tells you you can find that in Unit 1, Lesson 1. Um, and so you're just going to build on the same C note document and all throughout the unit, putting everything in there. Um, and you can see that. So then you would go down and define tone, um, and that's in Unit 1, Lesson 4, and you would just add that to the C notes. So throughout the unit, you're building on those things until you're ready to turn them in. Now you're going to turn them in in your review for the test that comes every unit. So um, whatever lesson your test falls in, usually like 10 through 14, uh, there's always a review before it. In that, in teacher mods or lesson mods, you will um, see a link to a C notes document. Um, sorry, a link to a Google form. Um, this is that Google form right here. Um, and that is where you will go to submit your C notes. Um, your C notes do need to be uploaded into your Google Drive. Even if you chose to print them out and handwrite them, you need to scan them back in and put them in that C notes folder for your English class. Once you've done that, you've got your document in Google Drive, you're going to click share in that document. And then um, make sure that your share settings are set to anyone with the link can view. And then you're going to click copy link. Um, that link that you copied is what you will paste right here in your C notes submission Google form. Okay. If you get to the test and you forget, you can just well webmail it to me. It's not that big of a deal, but I do want you to go through and review it before you move on to that unit test. All right, how are they graded? <clears throat> they are going to be part of a quiz grade for you guys. One part of that grade is going to be your participation in live lesson. The other part will be um, the submission of your C notes. So one grade per unit. All right, that's pretty much it for the C notes um, overview. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And guys, it's going to be an awesome year. Thanks for listening.